Let's look at this. I have one person on the knees. I'm on the side. I have no seat belt yet, and the person is not moving that much. At the same time, I can do the seat belt and go to the crucifix, or I can do the seat belt and try to pull the hooks. But every time I put my arm over here, I feel like he try to reach for my elbow. He try to get like more control of my arm. And every time somebody reach for this, I know they want to get on top of me. I know once they roll, I don't have much of their back. Because you guys can see like their back is going to most like be on the floor. Instead of me cover his, his back, the floor is going to protect his, his back. So what's going to happen, they're going to be able to turn into me once they roll. So what happens is like as soon as I get over here, I keep my arm short. I never let him get like a turn around my toes. I never let the guy like so close to my elbow. So I can put my hand over there. But at the same time, he did not gonna be like uh, pulling the arm that much. He's gonna try once and then he's gonna let go. Because if he keep the arm that high, obviously you can just pull him back, right? So they're gonna reach and then you already know like, okay, he's looking for my arm. So if that's the point, I'm not going to the seatbelt. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna come out with the, with the collar. Come up, Matthews. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna come out with just the collar. I'm gonna just do this. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna put my elbow there. I'm gonna reach for the collar and pull my elbow back. So now I have the collar on my hand. With the collar on my hand, I'm gonna try meet with my hand on the other side. With the collar on my hand, I'm gonna go and then try pass. So I pull, I keep my elbow back. I don't have a seat belt, I don't have a crucifix, but at the same time, I don't wanna go back to his half guard. So if he, any moment over here, he tries seat, I go towards his legs. I avoid. He, uh, I go towards his head. I avoid his leg. So everything goes like towards his head. Okay, one more time. So I'm working this, I'm worried about this. Anytime he sits, sit, sit. He stay on his side. My leg never left behind. My leg never like uh, go back. So I'm most towards. Maybe he comes back on his knees again. But he doesn't want to give like a the side control. So I'm avoid the half guard. I have no seat belt, I have no crucifix. But I put my hand over there, I feel like he pulled, he reached for my elbow. So I put my hand over there, I just pulled the lapel. I have the lapel on my hand, turn my toes. I have the lapel on my hand. Now, I'm gonna try to give the other hand on the other side. And I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna get my hand really close to his chin. So I'm gonna give, come up my toes. I'm gonna give, but I wanna give to my hand really close, to your chin my toes really close to his chin. So I'm not gonna just give and let that loose. I give really close to his chin and just leave like that. Come back to So from here, very close to his chin. Now from this position, I'm gonna just wait to the right moment. The right moment I mean, maybe he roll, or maybe he just stay over here. Now that he didn't roll, he's just stay over here, I'm gonna pull him on his side. But I'm not gonna roll, I'm gonna just pull him on his side. And then from this position, I'm going to start to tie it up more, the, the gap from, from my hand and his chin. Little by little, I'm going to start to tie up more the gap. But because I'm not blocking his shoulder, he can anytime go back on his knees. Right? Come back. So to avoid him, he go back to his knees, I'm going to keep my weight more on top of the shoulder. Instead of behind his shoulder, more on top of the shoulder. Now if he try to go back, I have like some weight not on top of him, but more like on front of his shoulder to block. Just like if I was on the side control, on front of him. So when there, I got it tight. So I have this hand, just make this. And then from this position, guys, I'm gonna be looking for the inside leg. I'm gonna go and try to get the control of this leg over here. And now I can keep him flat, and I can keep pulling like a, the hand on his neck. Every time he try to kick this leg, I have to hold his leg. Every try, every time, he try like a maybe hip escape. I pull his hip out because he maybe he's gonna try hip escape and go back on his knees. So I'm trying to hip escape. I pull his hip more, and then if I want to get a little bit more like a, a torque, I can just lean and pull and pull this side a little bit more. Obviously, I don't want to get any time stuck inside his leg, but I'm gonna be like just lean more away from his head, just so I can get like more torque with my weight. I go over here, I reach, try to pull, I pull my hand out. I don't have to commit to the seat belt. He stays over here. If he try to sit down, I go to his side, never towards his leg. In one moment, I pull his lapel. I have the lapel on my hand. I'm controlling his collar. I'm gonna get to the other, very close to his chin. Right there. 
Now from this position, he's not rolling, he's just stay over here. I pull him inside. From this position, I'm gonna start tight up more. Maybe he tuck more his chin, but little by little, I'm gonna to start to tight up. Even when he tucks his really his chin, I'm gonna little by little. In one point, it's gonna be so tight that I don't have to get my hand inside his neck. I have to just kind of like feed in my collar inside. So the tighter you get, the collar is gonna to start to kind of slip under his chin. Got to this point, I know he's under his chin now, pull him flat. I cannot do him flat because my, my grip is very tight over here. Now in one point, I reach and I hold. And I just wait for him to tap, all right? Uh, people's gonna have different resistance if you have a long arm, if the person is bigger than you. So people's gonna have different resistance. But the most important, like uh, we control the other person so he doesn't keep rolling, so he doesn't keep hip skate, so he doesn't move back to his knees. Let's just hold the position tight. All right, that's it, I guess. <laughs> Walk your opponent. I say work like that. I don't have full control, but I can work with what I have. So for example, I don't have the seat belt, but I'm, I'm able to manage to just stay on top over here. Any more if he give, if he give like his arm, obviously like I can look over there and keep him more exposed. When I say exposed, like now I can control his arm, now I can go to the seat belt, but he's not giving that, he keep everything more like a tuck in. But because he's tuck in, he doesn't have that much control. He's protect, but he doesn't have much control. But at the same time, I don't want to give control to him. I don't want to go and give my arm for him. So I feel I feel that. Just go there, open his collar. I got his collar. I give to the other hand. I uh, take your chin. I got over here. When I'm about to pull, when I'm about to look for the better control, he rolls. Roll, roll, roll. I want to walk. Get myself on my knees. Come back, Mateus. So when he rolls, I don't want to land on the bottom. I don't want to roll with him. When he rolls, I try to be on my knees. One more time, Matthews. When he rolls, I can even hit on my shoulder. I can land on my side. I don't want to be on my back. I walk my way to get on, on my knees. I find I got over here. Um, I don't have my arm dip. He decides to roll. Put this point over here. Sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult. Sometimes it can be very easy. You have to just find a way to get back on your knees, okay? So, I got the neck, sometimes he rolls. I just find my way to get back on my knees and put him back where, where I was planning to have him before. So the person just roll away from you, right? Come uh, back, I feed the collar, I go over there, he rolls. I go over here. I don't have to see him up. I can just keep him um, on his back, on his side. I feel like his hand start going on my hand. His hand start going on my hand. I wanna get the collar. I wanna tight this. His hand keeps going on my hand. When his hand goes on my hand, I pull him flat. I get a little bit more, not pulling flat, but I, I keep him more, most flat. And my hand start going over here. Put your hand on this, start going over here. Sometimes it's gonna be slippery. My weight of my arm goes there. My weight might go there. And make this tight. He, his hand go back, make this tight. Once you know, okay, my collar, uh, his collar is very deep inside his neck. Now, I go back over there. And start really make that torque. So he rolls, you follow him, you put him back where we want to. His hands start body, you clean his hands. Keep him flat, the collar is inside. Now you can go to the to the leg. Uh, Tony was asking like about a name. I think this is most like a bone choke, but I don't have the leg. So it's basically the same bone choke, but you don't have the leg. And you don't have the leg because the person is not giving you a chance to put the leg. If you give a chance, if you stay open, I can put the leg and reach the leg at the same time, that's beautiful. But if you don't have the leg and you have a collar, you have a neck, you don't have to like, oh, I have the neck, it's perfect choke, I need a leg, you don't need a leg. You can walk your way around from there. All right, let's try guys.